Hello and welcome to another Lesson Picks instructional video. Today we're going to look at our updated Microsoft Office add-in, which now supports both Word and PowerPoint. While we're proud that Lesson Picks can be used on any platform, this feature is specific to those who are using Microsoft Office. The add-in allows you to access all the Lesson Picks symbols you love without ever having to leave the PowerPoint or Word environment. Let's take a look at how to install the Lesson Picks add-in in PowerPoint. Here we've opened a blank presentation. Clicking on Insert tab, we'll find the Add-in section. There, you'll find a button that says either Store or Get Add-ins, depending on the version of PowerPoint you're using. This is PowerPoint 2016 and has the older Store icon. Clicking on that, we'll be able to search for our add-in in the Microsoft Store. Type Lesson Picks in the search box and you'll see it on the right. Notice that although you find this in the store, there's no charge beyond your normal Lesson Picks membership. You can just click Add or you can click on the title to get a preview of the add-in. Clicking Add, you'll need to agree to our license and privacy policy. This is the same as the one for the main Lesson Picks site, except it clarifies that we will never store or use data from your documents. Clicking Continue, you'll see the Lesson Picks Symbols button is added to the ribbon. PowerPoint will even give you a nice big note about where you can find it on the Home tab. When you click Insert Symbols, that'll open the side panel where you can log in. Notice that the side panel now has the same symbols in its tray tab that we had in the main site. To add a symbol, simply click on the image in the side panel. If you get a tab about design ideas, you can just close it. This symbol is now a normal image that you can format with all the tools PowerPoint gives you. You can move it and resize it. And under the Picture Tools, you'll have many more options. For example, we can add a drop shadow, or we can place it in a circle. We can even apply artistic effects to make it look hand-drawn or like it belongs in Minecraft. In addition to the Tray tab, there are three other tabs to take a look at. The Search tab lets you find an appropriate lesson pick symbol directly from within the PowerPoint or Word interface. Let's search for Circle Time and click on the image. It's that easy. When you use the Search tab, you'll also get back appropriate categories. For example, if you search for Tokens, you'll get our category that has all of our standard tokens. Clicking on it will take you to the Browse tab, where you can choose any symbol you'd like. The Browse tab will also let you look at all the clip art categories in a tree view and pick the ones that you want. The last tab to talk about is the Common tab. Many of you will recognize it from the Symbol Builder. Here you'll find lots of symbols that are commonly used to group pictures or adjust them. You might use the Thought Bubbles or the Yes and No check marks, and they'll be right at your fingertips. Installing the add-in in Microsoft Word looks exactly the same. Open the Insert tab, choose either Store or Get Add-ins depending on your version, search for Lesson Picks and click Add, agree to the terms, and click Continue. Just like in PowerPoint, the Insert Symbols button is installed. Clicking it and logging in gives the same great experience. One powerful thing to note about Word is that it'll wrap text around your images. For example, if we search for Rabbit, we can insert it into this text of Alice in Wonderland. While we can do all the same picture formatting that we had in PowerPoint, you'll also notice a title wrapping icon when you click on the image. If we click that and then choose one of the text wrapping choices, the text will flow around our image. There are lots of options here, but perhaps the most interesting is Tight, which actually uses the shape of the image instead of a box. We hope you enjoy this updated tool and make great use of it at school or as you support your students remotely. Let us know how you like it in our Lesson Picks users group on Facebook, and as always, good luck and have fun.